So, what's up hunters? Jay here again for another Monster Hunter World Endgame builds, featuring Charge Blade. This video is mainly focused on True Fatalist Charger with 3 all time favorite builds. First will be SAED Focus build, second is the Savage Axe DPS only build, and the third build if you will be using either Savage Axe and SAED attack combination on hunts. So with that being said, let's get on to the builds. Here is the first build, the SAED build that I generally use for hunts. If I my mood is on the SAED mode, then I make use of this one, if not, then I use the other builds that I'm going to show you next on this video. For the armor skills we have Critical Eye 7, Agitator 7, Handicraft 5, Artillery 5, Evade Window 5, Guard 5, Offensive Guard 3, Capacity Boost, Focus 3 and Recovery Up if we use Mantle, and also, with Weakness Exploit 3, and Critical Boost 3 for the awesome damage on monsters for Charge Blade. For the armor build, I use 4 pieces Fatalist armor and 1 piece Raging Brachidios. And for the mantles, I always use Glider Mantle for that extra 2 slot 4 decorations, and for the other mantle, you can use anything you want for the hunt. These are the jewels that I use for this armor set. Like, why I max out that guard and handicraft skill. Because seeing the perfect numbers makes it more awesome, seriously. And for the weapon augments, I use Health Regen and Slot Upgrade to make this build as perfect as it is right now. It packs up to 90% affinity, with some decent survival skills, easy dodge and easy guard on monsters attacks. Now, let's get on to some damage tests for this weapon. Here guys, as you can see, I have this build for you to use, and to give you some ideas for this endgame build for the Fatalist armor. If you lack some decorations, then, you can change some jewels, but I think the build is not that hard to make, because of the jewels involved makes it easy for you to build it. If you use the SAED you need to use Artillery 5 skills that works on impact files, to enhance the file damage when you do the Super Amped Elemental Discharge or the SAED. Also, if you want to use Attack Boost skill, then you can sacrifice the Focus Medicine Jewel on Glider Mantle, and replace it with 2 slot 4 attack jewels. Or the other option would be, is to remove some points on Guard and Handicraft to replace it with Attack Boost. If you want to use a 2 consecutive SAED, then make sure you have all the file reloaded on the blade, and files ready to replace it after the first discharge. Also, make sure not to reload the files, before releasing the first batch of files, and for you not to waste the second discharge. For the hunt, basically this is somewhat impossible, not if the monster is toppled or stunned. But make sure you position yourself for a good distance to deal more damage, good practice makes it close to perfection. But sometimes, you mess up but no worries, the hunt will still go on. So, let's move on to the second build for Charge Blade. For this next build, we got a build for Savage Axe mode only on Charge Blade, that means, you don't necessarily need the artillery skill in your build. For this build, we removed the handicraft skill and replaced it with protective polish, but when you use protective polish, make use of the wet fish fin plus item that can be farmed abundantly on the quest, a fish to whet your appetite on the event quest, make sure to check that one out. Also, we also removed the artillery skill and replaced it with P performance skill and tool specialist skill, for faster mantle time reuse. I choose Tool Specialist more than the Divine Blessing because I need the mantles for the hunts. That means I can use more often the mantles on the hunts. Besides I got Guard 5 and Evade Window 5. That means that I somewhat don't need the Divine Blessing skill on my build. Because I got already 2 defensive skills to replace that Divine Blessings easily. For the Augments, I use Slot Upgrade and Health Regen. And Health Regen really helps me to maintain the P Performance skill that I use for this build. Also Glider Mantle has the 2 slot 4 attack jewels on them so, I got more decent damage than usual when I use Glider Mantle. Evade Window is really important in this build, because in Savage Axe mode, there is no way you can guard immediately the attacks incoming to you, so evading is the key for you not to take damage, and to maintain your full health status, that is required for the P Performance for that additional damage. And lastly, here is the third build, this build, you can use the SAED and Savage Axe mode combinations, depending on what particularly you want, but the first build also can do, and this build has more damage because of the P performance, and the attack decorations on the glider mantle, I use 4 pieces Fatalists and 1 piece of AT Vulcana. This is the balanced build, you only needed Handicraft 3 to finish the hunt without losing to the white sharpness. Take a look at the build for a moment. But those builds I mainly use the first one because of the perfection on the skills, but it's up to you what you want to use on these three builds. So, that's it for this build guys. I mainly do Monster Hunter videos particularly on builds, tutorials, guides and some speedruns, I think I will do builds until the Monster Hunter Rise will be up, or another title update that will be soon be announced, just hoping. 
But if I made all the builds, I think I will feature other games for a while. Thank you for watching. Please smash that subscribe button to see more of my content and watch my other videos on the screen right now. And I see you in the next video. Peace.